Hey everyone. Hey brothers and sisters in Jesus Christ. The last few years have gone by very fast for me. In 2015 is when I had enough of the world and people in my life. I had enough of everything. Instead of giving up like I wanted to, I decided, no, I want to know the truth. What's the meaning of life? And I hit my knees and asked Jesus Christ in desperation if he was real and to show that to me, to show himself. Prove to me. And as you all know, he has done that and much more. The world is biblical. I say it all the time. Some people don't get it or like it or whatever. It means that we're important. It means that God loves us, even when we're sinners. We're not a speck in the vast universe. There's no aliens coming. Aliens are demons. There's, you know, outer space is not Star Trek and Star Wars. There's a firmament dome, there's waters above that, and there's the heavens above that. God and Jesus Christ, our Lord, our Father, they're literally right above us. Hell is literally below us. On the screen is an actor, Richard. He's wearing the number 33. How nice. Doing the vow of silence. How nice. Does he have Satan's fake enlightenment? It, it kind of seems so. <laughs> Knowing this stuff, it's hard because so many people don't believe it and so many people are in on this. God tells us what he thinks of liars and deceivers. Don't more people think about this? Don't they think about eternity, heaven and hell, the meaning of life, who is God, these big questions? In 2015, I basically stepped out of the world that I knew to find the truth, to find the meaning of life. There's got to be one. To me, it's to have faith in the finished work of Jesus Christ. God has grace towards us. And if we have faith in Jesus Christ's finished work, so no one can boast, so not one person's like, I'm the smartest, I figured it out, or I'm the best Christian, that stuff doesn't matter. Like, if people think that way, they need to go, well, the glory goes to God. The glory goes to our Lord Jesus Christ. Brothers and sisters, thank you again for walking with me and listening to me every day. I sure hope the rapture happens soon. I know we don't all agree on what the deal is with that, but I'd like to be raptured. I'd like to be of that generation. For me personally, I'm not, like, I don't know God's ways. Obviously, I don't know his full plan. We know a lot of his plan because of the Bible. But I want to do things at God's timing. God wouldn't have done this to us, brothers and sisters, if he, you know, he's going to finish this plan. He peeled back the curtain of, of reality and went, do you see how Satan's involved in everything? This world has nothing to hold on to. We've been lied to. I don't like being lied to. It makes me angry. It, it makes me, I'm not sure the word to say, because the deceptions from Satan are so hardcore that you need faith in Jesus Christ so you can go, ah, I can rest in Jesus' finished work. He's got things under control totally. Like, right, this world may seem so far gone at times, and it is. Again, the, 
people that are like, let's save the planet. There's no planet. Earth is creation. Earth is creation. The other planets, they're like the stars. They're lights in the sky. No one's landing on them or coming from them. There's no aliens coming from them. Aliens are demons. Fallen angels. So brothers and sisters, once again, thank you. I, I just, I'm so grateful for you guys. I'm so grateful for so many things in my life because I hated the world and I still do, but it's in a different way because I understand that the future is great with God. God has many wonderful promises that may seem extreme or hard to believe at times, but not when he, not when he has opened your eyes to like, I know that Jesus is real and the Bible is real 100% that Jesus died on the cross for me personally and for everyone else. I realize that it's the greatest gift of all salvation forever, new glorified body, so many wonderful promises from God. Keep looking up everyone. Amen.